and of course the uh, you know any any innocent civilian law enforcement. That's the 91. Let's get some locations. That's the 91 freeway right there. We're northbound Main high speeds. It's a U-Haul truck. California Highway Patrol in position. They are right kind of behind it. Sheriff's Department. They're over it. Are they in pursuit? They're still calling this a following and surveillance. Wrong way on the wrong way northbound Main. Whoa! Northbound Main. No, nothing but close calls. Thank goodness. He took off a mirror off of a parked vehicle just a few moments ago. But you see how quickly this guy is moving. And it does almost seem like he's trying to just make contact with other cars. Maybe he's got that mentality like, I'll just bump into a couple of cars and they're going to give it up. They've basically on the ground have given it up. Nobody is actually chasing this vehicle. Can this guy know it? I've heard this in the past. People have talked to me. They've said, well, they obviously know the helicopter's above. I don't think so. I, there's no way you we don't see him looking out the window we don't see him doing anything he did see those two black and whites earlier on from california highway patrol when he was on maine let's get you some directions right now i understand we're going to be going eastbound as i look out the window and try to figure out these streets i believe we're on alondra right now once again he seems to like alondra he likes central wrong way or center lane center lane uh, but you see how quickly he's moving. The truck does seem to be very light. A couple times we've seen that rear end spin, uh, slide out, you know, doing fishtails with what's basically a, a U. It is basically it is. It is a U-Haul truck. Uh, but this pursuit continues on high speeds. Very dangerous. I got to tell you, very concerned about the public at large. Concerned about even that driver this afternoon. Don't know what he is running from. But I gosh, I just wish he would just slow it down and maybe even just pull over and let the officers take him in custody before somebody gets really hurt. He just pulled into an alleyway. They're actually switching over to a California Highway Patrol frequency. It almost looks like this one might have it. I can't see because of the tree, but it does look like he can pop back out. So he's going to be popping back out onto a residential street. He has been doing a lot of these basically just making big circles. This one's a dead end, though, but he has that opportunity to make that U-turn. We're going to keep an eye on it. If he jumps out, we're definitely going to follow him. There's the door is open, and he's – I don't know what he's doing right there, checking, uh, making sure he's got all his stuff out of it, make it nice and clean, I guess, when they return it. There he goes. Now he's starting to run. Not really sure what his plan is right there, but running in behind these trees. It looks like those trees come out into another alleyway, and it looks like he's trying to blend in. There he goes. He's running out, back out towards a major. You've got uh, children out in that area. There's a school right there, as I understand it, so we're going to keep an eye. I I, I don't know, but that's a child right there. It looks like he stayed behind that tree. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on it for sure. We're making it see more people running, more children running. Scary uh, for sure. Law enforcement making a run for it. Let's see if we can find out where he went to. I'm going to work with Brendan here in just a second. We'll get it. We'll find this guy.
Oh, you know what? We've been so bi we've been so sucked into where this guy ran to. Uh, I haven't got the name of the school. Let me get you the name of the school. That should be pretty simple. Uh, can tell you though that uh, we first we thought he was running westbound, and it turns out that he was running eastbound. Now we're listening that the California Highway Patrol is saying uh, that he possibly made entry into one of these classrooms. We've been keeping an eye on it. We know that this area right now school is out, but students still on the campus down there. Uh, as soon as we get my map back up, we'll get you a name of the street there. Perhaps our assignment desk can help us fill in some of the blanks, too. But uh, p what we're hearing right now is law enforcement believes he made his way into one of the classrooms here at this corner uh, of this school out here in the Compton area. It is Enterprise Middle School. Enterprise Middle School is the name of the school. A uh, lot of officers out here right now just flooding this uh, this school. And, of course, it's going to, you know, it just makes it more dangerous when we have a number of students out here. Obviously, we've been watching the, what we've seen from the students. They have been trying to avoid the danger best they can. We've seen a lot of children running from the area, especially when they see law enforcement coming into the area, which is probably the smartest thing to do. But having these children around and then, of course, a dangerous suspect out there, uh, an officer is going to be trying to take this guy into custody just adds to the danger, adds to the the, uh, the load that these uh, law enforcement, and of course we have deputies and California Highway Patrol down there, they have to, you know, they have to assess the danger before they make a move. So it just makes everything more difficult, more dangerous for everybody involved. Enterprise Middle School is the name of the school out here in Compton. A number of officers now flooding the campus. We got the canine here already. And uh, of course, they're going to have to find that spot where he made entry into the campus for that dog to start working. Working. But there's multiple helicopters overhead now. That's him. Yeah, it's definitely him. He needed that belt. <laughs> 